junkyard day shorts. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, girl. All right, we're here because I want to try something. I am not going to program anything or sync anything to my car. I am going to take this ECU, plug it in my car, and see what happens. So we're going to find out. We're going to satisfy that today. And this is uh, the bolt, at least that's holding down on the right side of the ECU. There's no easy way around it. The ratcheting wrench is too big. It's old-fashioned torque <laughs> to every, every step of the way. <laughs> uh, I had to get all the way in there. Whew, the things I do for y'all. And it's another 10 millimeter bolt. It looks like the ratchet and rich is able to grab it. Um, they're very, they're, they're very sturdy in there. So just understand it's gonna take some time. It's a very closed off area. Just stay patient, stay with it. Let's see, you gotta pull all the, flex all this copy back. Uh, let me put on my glue so I'll cut some up. All right, <laughs> I got it off. It's pretty unstable. I'm gonna pull the flies out the other side and pull it out. That was not easy. I mean, it's a junk car, so I can't move to sit back. And the windshield is already pushing down on everything. Whew. Another edge and gone though. Uh, drive train. Pressure switch gone. Another pressure switch gone. All right, fellas, look, the ECU is out. I unplugged all of it. Uh, the old one's in there. This is the, the old new. Let's just, for kicks and giggles, let's, let's put this in the ignition, see what happens without the ECU being connected. Probably nothing. Hmm. I tell you, I didn't expect this. Hmm. All right. So there that goes. All right. Clearly that is doing that. Let's plug this one in. All right. The difference between mine. One, two, three. Oh. I'm sorry, I forgot a plug, hold up. All right, all five plugs are in there. Hmm. The hypothesis is the potential of it starting right up and acting as if that flashing key means absolutely nothing. I think we all know what that means. But, moment of truth. <laughs> Let me take it out. Put it back in. Hmm. And there you have it. It has got to be registered, linked to the actual car. So this ECU is going back. This was option A, just to just to see what would happen. I uh, I knew this would be the case, but whatever stroke of luck, 
potentially shine and cast on me today considering the last 48 hours I've been through. Maybe that shine here too, but unfortunately it didn't. Stay tuned. And in case it's not obvious, you can't just grab a random ECU and hook it to your car and expect it to be completely compatible. The main thing that's different on this Christmas tree dashboard is that flashy key. And there you have it.